As we start tonight with the heat rising at Port Adelaide. Caro, lots to deal with here. Uh, before we get your view on what's happened uh, today, let's hear first up from uh, David Kosh, the president of Port, on the future of the coach, Ken Hinckley. Obviously, this year will be the, the worst finish that we've had in the last 10 years, and something's got to change. We've got to get better. We've got to make some hard decisions. We will assess every single line item in the football department. Would an inaccurate headline be, Ken, turn it around or watch out? I think the whole program. It is not just one individual person. It is the whole program. Turn it around or watch out. Strong words from the President, not for the first time it must be said. Ken Hinckley on 360 tonight was asked whether he felt safe. Do you feel any uncertainty that you'll be the Port Adelaide coach next year? Um, no, no, I don't, Jared. I mean, um, obviously, uh, for, for me and, and for what we've been through as a footy club this year is that we haven't been at the level that we, that we, we were hoping to be at. David himself has said that he expects me to be coaching Port Adelaide in 2023, as I do, and that's what I'm preparing for. Do you think there's any chance that you could get called in at the end of the season, Ken, and told, no, it's time for change? No, no, I don't, Jared. I think I've been given, as I said, I've been given enough assurances throughout the, the season. Not that I need them, to, to be fair. Caro, you've tracked this story very closely. What can you tell us about Ken's future at Port? I don't think that it's as safe as Ken is saying tonight on 360. I think that the language changed dramatically from David Koch today, from what he's been saying all through the year. It is true that Ken has been told throughout the year by his head of footy, by his CEO and by his chairman that he has a contract for next year and he's safe. For David Koch to say, turn it around in the next two weeks or be prepared or whatever he said, what are they going to learn in the next two weeks? that they don't already know. The one question that Ken wasn't asked was, could it happen this week? If Port are going to act, Kane, they need to act now because Ken needs an opportunity to look at other jobs and we know for sure there are two jobs in the marketplace. There might be more because stranger things have happened. And we also know that Alistair Clarkson has currently, but is very soon, to make a call on more likely North Melbourne but still potentially GWS. And that's going to happen before the end of next week, in yeah, my view. Yeah, it was a poor it was a poor media interview from David Kosh. Turn it around or watch out. Let, let's just make the call now. You're either going with Ken next year or you're not. And he deserves the right to be told that now. I don't, think Ken, was he's he's I don't think Ken was thrilled by those and he, comments. And, and nor should he be. He, yeah, but he's, he's been a lot of bravado in those interviews over the years and, and hasn't added, amounted to much ever before. But he's not any different to you. You, you were sitting on the fence here this time last week, so you can't blame David. But I'm not, the, I'm, the not the, I'm not the president making the decision on the coach. Well, you got to, if surely you've formed a view by now. No, I, I, as I told you last week, Hutch. You're not going to sit I'm, on the fence again. I'm OK with Ken coaching next year. If you're telling me what are the other options, if it's Alistair Clarkson or Ken yeah. Hinckley, no, 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 give me the options. Alistair Clarkson, yep, I'll take Clarkson well, you over Hinckley. Is it Adam Kingsley over Ken Hinckley? I'll take Ken Hinckley. So I, I don't know everyone that's Matthew, in the marketplace. Um, Matthew, um, you said this morning, sorry, understanding... Kato, sorry to interrupt you, I apologise. You did say this morning on radio, though, before we close it off, that you felt it was tracking towards him not yeah, being because a coach Did now. you not just hear David yeah, Koch? so you think he's gone? I think he's in trouble after hearing David Koch. My understanding was, uh, is that Alistair Clarkson would be open to speaking with the Port Adelaide Football Club, but he's clearly not going to do anything. Of, and, and I don't think Ken has been yet approached by GWS, even though we've spoken what about their interest. What would it cost them, Caro, Ken Hinckley's contract to pay that out? Well, interestingly, when COVID struck, a lot of coaches took pay cuts, including Ken. He signed a three-year deal in 2020. To the end of 2023, Port tried to put in performance clauses, as they have in the past, and the AFL insists on with recipient clubs. And I'm told that Ken Hinckley has no such clauses. He took a pay cut and he said, therefore, I'm not going to... You know, you have to pay me out if you sack me. So say he's earning, I don't know, six, five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars $600,000, maybe more, he will get that full amount if he is sacked, unless it is mitigated by a new job. So I think David Koch needed to be stronger today. Matthew, I'm yeah. not sure about you, but um, he had the opportunity yeah. to guarantee the coach yeah. and he didn't. Listening to David Koch, it took me back to Damien Hardwick, maybe after how many years did he came? 2016, yeah. and they have to decide, what do we do? Do we back in the senior coach? and change everything around him, or do we move on? And they decided, I thought Hardwick was going to be in all sorts of trouble, they decided to back him in. So if it's not Damien Hardwick, I'd be pretty concerned if I was the fitness staff, the assistants, the recruiting team, because if it's not Ken, and he's saying change has to happen, 
well, where else is it coming from? So that's what they've got to decide. Is it Ken or do the others have to go? And Ken has been at the club a lot yeah. longer than Damien had at the time yeah. too. I yeah. mean, 10 years yeah. is a long time. And just on the weekend, it had me thinking about if you're Alistair Clarkson sitting back and watching North perform and the GW West Giants perform, uh, where you can get to and your chance, the North Melbourne job, uh, it's a long, long road. I'm talking the Giants, Mark McVeigh was able to stimulate them within a week and they were able to rise to that occasion. I don't, think you, I don't think you could stimulate North Melbourne right now and get them to get a jump up. So you just wonder what he's thinking about watching those could two Could Gillan McLaughlin hold the key to the decision with um, a decision the AFL make on ambassadorial money? Because North have sold themselves pretty hard. More meetings with North this week. Alistair Clarkson had a lengthy meeting last Thursday night with Dave Matthews, with Tony Shepherd and uh, Jason McCartney, head of footy. But I think there will be more meetings with GWS as well this week. So if Port need to act, want to act, they need to act now.